Hey, what's good, YouTube? I'm Dewan. Recently, my boy Leonard hit me up with a question that I am often asked. Here's the question. He said, how long do you think it would take to prepare for the CSENT, ICND-1, two to three months? That's a great question. There's two ways to approach that. One, if you have experience, your approach will be totally different than someone that's brand new to IT or networking. So let's start with the person that's brand new to IT. The first thing you want to do is print out the Cisco exam topics. I got a link in the description on where you can print these out. But what this does is it tells you everything that's on the exam. Moving forward, this CCNA book by Ty Lamley. It's a complete study guide for the ICND-1 and ICND-2. I got a link in the description on how you can purchase it. But what I want to do for this video is a giveaway. Continue watching the video and I'm going to tell you how you can win a free copy of this Ty Lanley book. I'm only going to give away one copy. So hopefully, if you're the lucky winner, this book helps you achieve your CCNA. Okay, so this book is broken down into two parts. Like I said, ICND-1 and ICND-2. The ICND-1 portion has 14 chapters and about 580 pages. The way the book's broken down is you have the chapter information. Then at the end of the chapter, you have a lab and also review questions. So what I would do is take maybe one or two days to read the chapter. And then after that, I will focus on the lab and also make note cards of the review questions. And once you have that information down, move forward to the next chapter, carrying along your note cards in your labs and learning the next um, chapter. That's the way I would approach it. So if you spent, let's say four days on the 14 chapters, that's about 56 days, which to me is about two months. Now let's combine videos into that. I use CBT Nuggets and I believe the ICND-1 portion of CBT Nuggets is about six to eight hours. Don't quote me on that, but let's just start there. If it's 68, 68 hours, I would not spend a whole day watching all 68 hours of videos. I would at least break each video up into one day, ensuring that you obtain all of the information before you move on to the next video. So that's about six to eight days. We combine that with the 56 days from the book. Now we're at about 64 days. Making sure that you're labbing. You still need about a week to study for the exam. So during that week, what should you be doing? You should be looking at your note cards. You should be labbing the information and you should also be going over your exam topics to make sure that you know everything under each section. Once you have all that down, you're answering every question that you have on your note card. Even when you watch videos and they tell you something, lab it up for yourself. If you've never seen a broadcast storm, break out your switches and create a broadcast storm. If you never went past infinity on rip, go past infinity on rip. In other words, go past 15 hops on rip and see what happens. Make sure you're diving into this information to have a deep and thorough understanding, having a strong foundation of the entire OSI model, subnetting, um, routes, just everything that's in networking will make you more valuable in the long run. Because I know money for a lot of you is the goal. But besides that, if you desire to be that network engineer, that senior engineer, or one day that architect, trust me, as an architect, you need to be able to have a strong foundation of what goes into a network. Let's get back to this giveaway. What I want you to do to win this Tyler Lenny book is hashtag your career goal. So if your career goal is to be a network engineer, hashtag network engineer. If your career goal is to be a system administrator, hashtag system administrator, and tell me what you think about this video. I'm gonna give away one copy. So once this video reaches, let's say 75 likes, I will pick a winner and I will mail you this CCNA book free of charge. Good luck on the contest. Now for you that are in the field and you desire to get a CCNA, if you have one, two, three years, let's say of networking experience, if you're working on, let's say, VTP, multiple switches, um, you're configuring routes, doing e EIGRP or OSPF or even RIP in your network, you're um, working on administrative distances, you're um, troubleshooting uplinks and all that good stuff, for you, you may be able to take 
30 to 45 days to prepare for your CCNA. 30 days just to go over the information and let's say a week to 15 days just to cram for the test because trust me we are crammed for a test a lot of that information you may not obtain but hey i still go over my note cards just because you never know when that interview comes and you got to be prepared for it so that about sums it up in the comment section below you know what to do to get a free copy of this ccna book so please like this video share this video subscribe to my channel and if you have questions leave them in the comment section below i thank you all for viewing peace